those who become are those who never settle. They know that there is always a better and greater version. Believers, in times of adversity, remember to anchor your faith in God's unwavering love and promises. Trust in His divine plan and find strength in His presence. May this message serve as a source of encouragement and reaffirm your unshakable relationship with Him. Remain blessed as you listen. The most important part of you that Satan wants is not your body. The most important part of you that Satan wants is not your spirit. The most important part of you that Satan wants is your mind. Understand this. Your mind interfaces your body and your spirit. When Satan gets your mind, he gets two for one. He gets your body and your spirit. This is the Bible. I'm showing you because for years I kept wondering why it looked like Satan was not afraid of many things about God. You close your Bible and lie down on it and sleep, yet the demons come and press you. How many of you have fasted three days dry and on the third day you had a wicked dream? Demons came and oppressed you. You've not even broken the fast. You spent time blasting in tongues and you came to us men of God and we said you don't have faith. It's a lie. It's a lie. There are not many things Satan is afraid of. I've listed some of them for you. We think he fears everything. No, sir. Satan is never afraid of the presence of God. He's only afraid of what the presence of God does to you. You, not the presence of God. There are people who make this Bible in publishing homes that are currently filled with demons inside them yet they are publishing bibles i have ministered deliverance to pastors mighty men and women of god with power who are also themselves anointed to deliver people the mystery of strongholds that satan captures territories and captures individuals by doing something to their minds this is what is called witchcraft here's what Paul said oh foolish Galatians who has bewitched you not about drinking blood and eating flesh he sells a proposition to you in a way and manner that will force you to receive it and by it you give up the power do you know if Jesus saw that kingdom and did that Satan would rather collect salvation and give him kingdom remember Jesus was about to be coronated after his death to be given a name that is above all names both of things in heaven on earth and under the earth and Satan said let me give you on earth it looked like a wonderful idea are we together so Paul says we are not unaware of his not his power satan has many devices many 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 devices from the word stratomai devices different ways he can come up with all kinds of plans to manipulate the minds of believers this is jesus satan stands before god and talks to god and God still respected the free will of Satan. Listen, I'm going to tell you some. I know that I've attacked so many things today. And many people now will insult me again because of all of this. But let me tell you this. I love the body of Christ. But I want you to be powerful. For many years, we were taught that Satan can never access the presence of God. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's not true. There was no place for him found in heaven means that the office he occupied was no longer there but he could access the presence of God he still can in the New Testament or at least in the ministry of Jesus Satan came to Jesus many times he came to Jesus in Peter he came to Jesus in Judas he came to Jesus by himself 
he was not afraid it is not the presence of God that scares so that you have the Holy Spirit inside you and then people say there's nowhere Satan can come close to you be careful Jesus Luke chapter 4 verse 1 was full of the Holy Ghost and yet Satan came to him after fasting you would think the fasting would have driven him away is that true but after the fasting was attracting him and he came but there was something Jesus did he didn't just say it is written it is written what was Satan looking for remember that whole thing was about words and information there is an information and Jesus gave him another information the moment he found out that Jesus was informed the Bible says he withdrew so when Satan comes to you he does not search he searches for if what do you have what residue of mystery do you have what do you know about him and what don't you know about him and he can manipulate you and beat you hands down brothers and sisters what does Satan tell a man that makes him to join occult what does Satan tell a man that he can carry his child and slaughter the child and while blood is coming out he's laughing Satan was not there holding the knife the influence was the strength of the man by himself Satan only left him with an information and went to bed and that man slaughters the child what does Satan tell a man that he dedicates a whole land to Satan an intelligent man look at Jezebel look at Jezebel under her watch the powers that be if you serve God Almighty you have to go on hiding the prophets of Baal were flourishing because a woman who sat on the seat of government could manipulate the minds look at what Satan did to Herodias a small girl dances before a man and then a man comes and says what do you want even if it's up to half of my kingdom I will give you is that normal listen one of the ways Satan has destroyed our lives and our families is through witchcraft but it is not witchcraft as we know he uses our imagination and distracts us into thinking it is just the drinking blood part of it and the old woman there whereas the true point of access of victory is something that he does to our minds and our imaginations to keep us through why does satan love pictures why do you go to bed and satan uses the face of your own mother to come and strangle you and you get up in the morning he never told you anything you just went to bed and saw the face of your mother and you got up and went to a prophet and then satan now shows a true prophet the face of your mother too and he confirms with what he sent to you in the dream and says your mother is a witch and you're a powerful prayer warrior yet you walk around believing your mother is a witch are you getting what i'm telling you the anointed cherub he was not just a musician no no he was not just a musician there was an anointing on satan for unusual influence over the minds of people that's what we call mimshak that anointing you see was given to satan god still gives it to men are we together this is not just some mm -mm. The, when you see any man commanding strange dimensions of influence and getting loyalty over the minds of people whether in the secular whether in the Christendom it is that same anointing that is operational a wicked man like Saddam Hussein look at terrorists can you imagine there are still people enrolling in terrorist groups today young boys will sit down and say i want to become Hapa. someone goes to school and studies medicine for six years and just donates himself is that normal there is a grace that was the grace that jesus put on these disciples on learned men and in one day the bible said they were caught in the heart men and brethren what do we do 
and from that day to death they stayed with him the same grace that satan used to deceive one third of the angels that fell all power i'm not saying to use demon powers or this i'm explaining something powerful to you that when god wants to give you influence he gives you an anointing that does something to the minds of men break every chain break every chain that that is the kind of anointing that people go to the occult and say i want to start a business listen carefully and they begin with satan the spirit of the antichrist they won't tell you listen let me tell you this if you are in this kingdom there is a meter on earth that watches the rising of men there is a level where if you are rising in life and satan is not aware he will come to you trust me he will come to you and say i I'm seeing that you are doing something notable on earth and you have bypassed me. What is the issue? We can negotiate and it will continue. Most people will never tell you. I don't care whether you are a man of God or you are a businessman. There is a level on this earth you cannot rise through until you go through look for experience. Satan must come. He will find a way of coming to you. I shared with you years ago one night when I was praying. In the spirit in the night is that true and all of a sudden I saw that my the the zinc everything just opened up and I saw a strange creature the eyes were as big as the head of a man and I saw it the tail was another living thing and it was fuming and looking at me and he said you think you can bring God's people to a place of abundance I shared that encounter he will come the realm of the spirit watches the progress of men there is an there is a level where if you are rising and playing around it doesn't threaten hell but when you get to a level they will come i assure you everybody you see who has risen without god knows what i'm telling you they will act like they don't know it from businessmen to investors to heads of government to presidents there are positions you can never rise until that negotiation is sealed look at solomon what happened to Solomon after offering a thousand bond offerings God too came to him and said Solomon let's do something only two of them knew if not that Solomon told you you will just know he got up in the morning strange influence nobody rises like that is a lie there must be a visitation I want to be great in the name of Jesus I'll be greater than Bill Gates get ready for look for something will happen do you know why i'm saying this because some of you you'll be surprised the two of this fast while you are fasting you go to bed in the night and here comes your ancient one idol in your family that has not appeared in 100 years he comes to you and say what what is going on in this koinonia you are part of i say your your father was a rich man do you know what made him rich Say, I know he went to Harvard. He said, Nonsense. Let me tell you, there was a negotiation. I hear that this young man is teaching you something. Are you ready to agree with me? And no government can stand you. Or will you negotiate and I frustrate you? And you say, Satan, is it not this anointing? There is the God, the giver of all grace, access to the minds of people. Listen, what happened in Babylon when those three boys were rising? The Satan was uncomfortable and because he he acts out his will by men every time you start rising watch what happens to the men around you have you not seen that some of you as you are coming to this fast now those who were at peace with you have started quarreling fighting you there is something happening in the realm of the spirit you make up your mind I'm I'm going to marry right I'm going to live right and then you are walking satan does not disturb you but there is a level you are a man of god you are rising anointing you are winning souls a day will come you will have strange visitations and satan will say look you are not the only man of god rising we can negotiate this i won't disturb your assembly you will grow with wildfire but you are part of those kingdoms that he showed jesus there are people who nothing stops them on earth because the factor to stop them has negotiated with them so their life will be so easy 
and you will look at them and say ah what is this and satan will say likewise go and ask any rich man you know you first talk about this they will, they will turn and say don't don't disturb me they know it's not a lie whether young or old i'm not talking of 1 million 20 go and meet somebody he will tell you there is nobody that rises to certain influence without bowing to someone it has to be god or satan the power of strongholds that satan can capture your mind when he captures your mind you have bowed to him it's not by doing this that means the same way when you will your mind to god and say this is an instrument oh lord put something upon my mind put something upon my life all of a sudden an anointing comes upon your mind and my brother my sister your life will be a sign and a wonder even to you that men will look at you and say kai this thing is not normal it's true it's not normal it can't be normal you see what is going on in this ministry we will be foolish to imagine it's normal no the mystery of strongholds it says pulling down strongholds what strongholds that by, by bet satan has programmed zaria already since satan has programmed nigeria since listen satan does not go around just chasing you he's too busy to look for you there is already a programming as you are between 10 to 15 there is one that kicks off between 15 to 20 there is it kicks off till you become an old man and Paul said, if you want to fight warfare, don't just cast spirits alone. If you want to fight warfare, attack the programming. Something has happened to you. That's why the people in your village behave the same way. No spirit directly appears to them. Everyone in your village is angry. It's not just that an individual demon is running. A programming happened. You enter a territory and all the ladies from 13, 14, 15, all pregnant, no matter how nice they are, it's a programming. And it says you are not free. No, that means I can cast a demon from you. That demon will go. But when the stronghold, that mindset is there, the demon still calls you home. He goes through desert regions and says there are no human beings here and returns back and sits down and calls others more greater than it is. And the Bible says the end of that man will be worse than the beginning. So he said, let this mind be in you. Let this mind be in you. There is something Satan has programmed that will never allow any... That's why Satan, when Satan does that programming, he will let you go to church because he knows the kind of pastor you will meet. So he's not afraid. Go, 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 go for the conference. Go for the convention. And you can fast for 10 days and he won't disturb you. Pray, fast. He already knows what he has gotten. But by the time a man of God begins to talk to you about this stronghold, then you start seeing agitations he will start coming you are you are touching a nerve that matters in the spirit what is going on here who is teaching this why do you know how you have been called out of every tribe and tongue and nation not just because you are born again but that you have been given access there is an anointing that can teach you it can start teaching you something new that is not in agreement with what satan has programmed you into being and all of a sudden your life will begin to close the door for darkness to find expression jesus said satan come to me and does not find anything of himself that means he put something of himself in everyone so as he keeps moving around over a territory you say i see these are my people he identifies you by what he put in you but he looked at jesus he said why are you different he looked at babylon and saw everyone with it but he saw three hebrew boys he said no destroy these three boys why did they that is is like the mark of the beast he put it in everyone so you are born you you can be educated be as educated as you want to be marry have children but that programming remains there but in this week of seven days prayer and fasting 
my brother my sister the mistake satan made was to allow you to be part of this program because something will de listen listen this thing i teach you is that old wine skin that god must take away the problem is not just the wine the wine skin itself cannot take what god is doing let me tell you this if satan could kill me that would be his number one assignment to kill this guy let him just die and let this thing be over